What's going on legends? Lilith here. Welcome back to the channel and I hope you've had an amazing day today. We've done some challenges before, but none of them have quite gone this far. First, we started with our add-on list 50 win streak, which took us all the way to 90 wins in a row. We completed the all perk streak next with a super challenging twist. And if you haven't seen that video, I'll link it up above. I really recommend checking it out. It's kind of crazy. But for today's streak, we wanted to top it all. 150 wins in a row, and we're still continuing right now on Twitch. We experimented with a few different builds to begin with, but found what I believe is currently the strongest build in the game. Pain Resonance, Deadman Switch, Discordance, and of course the most important perk of all, Shadowborn. We all know that Pain Resonance, Deadman Switch has some crazy synergy to it, letting you constantly monitor gens and keep survivors off them for long enough to start snowballing some pressure. But the biggest surprise perk to me was Discordance, and I'm not kidding, it has carried some of the hardest games I've ever seen. Since the big perk rework a few months back, survivors have changed up their strategy and perks like Prove Thyself have become much more popular. In fact, almost every game we play now has a minimum of two in it. Discordance will give me a constant reminder of where the survivors are trying to pressure quickly and allow me to head over there and cause some mayhem. The rules are pretty simple. If more than one survivor escapes, then the game would be considered a loss and the streak is over. We also can't bring any map offerings, mores, add-ons above purple rarity, and as a personal challenge, not a single gen has been kicked during the 150 games. I really hope you enjoyed the video, Legends. I put some timestamps in the description down below if you'd like to skip to any of the games I've chosen for you all. Some really tough games in there, and some where the survivors almost managed to end it all. I really hope you enjoy it. Like and comment down below as it really helps out the channel. Stay awesome, and as always, I'll see you, Legends, in the next one. Wretched shot, man. Decent map. Let's go. Oni's club. We're talking about um, M1 specifically. Otherwise, you know, yeah, Oni's, uh, Oni's cannibal would be up there 1 billion percent. I'm surprised they didn't spawn here. Interesting. It's going from the corner. That's cool. Are the least effective is doctors? Yeah, I mean, I mean, that one would be super painful, but I can't imagine it being that good at killing someone. You know what I mean? Hey, is that two survivors? Three? I do red stain. Through. Oh, okay. Shift W. That may have just been a pure panic move, actually. I don't think that was a planned idea from her, but let's see. She's panicking big time. Is she playing well? Does she vault window? Answer is... Yeah, no double vaults. Hold on. Interesting. Interesting. Very, very tightly looping. I don't think she was expecting that first, uh, the first hog tech, though. Oh, sorry. Double bot that one. Oh, of course, because it's blocked. Good job. Very unusual play. Very hard to, like, guess what she's doing here, to be honest. One eighty, Perfect. And we have a skirt trick right here. Even if they're beamers, I don't think they get there in time. I think that's a guaranteed hook. Uh, what about Artis? She hits you with organic oil or whatever that is. I can't imagine an Artis would be that bad. Really. It's probably not the weakest, but it's it's pretty tame. Thank you, uh, uh, yeah, th thank you, uh, Trees, for the fantastic collision. Very kind. Is that a hit? If it's not, that's pallet down. Oh, okay. I know we're in a win streak. But I really want to uh, attempt to land this one. Oh, shift W. Okay. Okay, chat. We'll try it again. I mean, it kind of works. It wasn't nearly as spicy as I was hoping. Explosion there either. First gen down. Near is off hook. Two gens down. These guys are not messing around, dude. That hard. The power, thank you very much. We've got a scourge a bit. Not with the ink, though. I mean, I do agree. But I can't imagine it being the worst. Like, like worse than like Bubba's one? Don't think so, right? Is it landed true? How many mankits have we got this game? One, I think. I don't think it's anything insane. We don't have any uh, scar tricks here. That's a shame. Okay, I'm going to run around the map and see if I can knock some people off gens. That's my left. I'd imagine that that one's being juiced right now. Yeah. Okay, Nia's on second. I think she is the best option right now. And because she was on the gen, she can't have DS anymore, right? Oh. Uh, <laughs> I understand why you waited there, dude. But um, you got you, you got to be a little bit further away for that fast fall. Iron Will? Okay. Dead Heart. Trust it. Don't trust Dead Heart, man. Also, three gens down. This team is fucking getting through it, man. Jesus, that's fast. Again, the issue I'm seeing right now is that a lot of these teams aren't really discordancing. They're working on their own for the most part.
think this one, ideally, we want to be wiping out the uh, the near as quick as possible. 90. Running in the correct direction. That's fantastic for us. Or even better, man. Good stuff. Okay, if we can slog and then go back for that near, get out of the game, that'd be awesome right now. That's that hard again. Mm, that's going to be Megan there. Bro, thank you. 180. Oh, uh, let's go back over here. I see people moving. Wait. Wait a secundo. Hold on. Oh, Nia's probably going to be over here for the uh, for the save, right? Maybe. We'll heal it already. That's the problem, man. If they have, like, Circle of Healing or some, like, stacked medkits or something, they are going to be really quick to heal. And if they have some, like, um, you know, kind of decent gens as well, uh, you're going to be kind of screwed. Uh, Neo's got to be on that gen, though. Meg was in main building. Like, green medkits? I think they've only got one of them, right? Do they not have Circle of Healing? That Nia... I think it is. Oh, it is near. Nice, dude. Awesome. Okay. If I was sorry, I wouldn't commit to that window. Jump. Oh, come on, man. That might be some resilience, actually. Blind. When she's super quiet. She's in double vaults. My play. I want to go for one of those, actually. 90. Uh, she's out the game at this point, and that might be great because Meg's also going to be trying to protect her. So there's two people off gens minimum. Oh, they got Fombus. That's not ideal. There was actually a crazy flick that I uh, figured out here recently, but um, we're not worth it right now. Interesting. The Giga Chat Survivor build. Dead Hard Head On Deception Pebble. That would be pretty sick, actually. Not again. Nice. One gen. These guys. Oh, man. They have not been fucking around. We haven't really had any bad chases this game either, right? Like, they've been pretty decent for the most part. I say we kill her. Just get back on that gen. Specifically that one near our shack. Yeah, that one's being pressured. So shack again. They've got some decent RNG here at the issue. Not quite. A lithe on Meg, maybe? My concern is, though, is that I don't trust these guys that aren't split on these gens right now. Right? Like, where's the other one? That gen I haven't been to in a long time. That could be close. Uh, it's a bit laggy. Keep in mind. A little concerned here. I hear that gen. Not covering much progress. Let's see. Driver in here. Perfect. Hmm. I don't trust the man again. The problem being is that Meg's over there. We don't really have any scourges to get to, though, is the issue. Uh, making him work for the streak. Yeah, survivors have not been messing around today, man. Like, whatsoever. These guys have been fucking on it, dude. Let's see, it hasn't been 80 seconds, though. There's the Feng. Actually, that might work out. Pain was here. Knock them off the gen. Back to Feng. Well, they have got main building. Uh. The next back on the gen. Find sprint burst on you. Hip. See if she runs back the other way. Is it worth committing? Oh, probably not. No, it's Oh, that means to hold on, Dwight. Perfect, perfect. There's one for Meg. Good hits. Go Dwight again. Fucking down. Okay, Feng's gonna die. Feng's. Wait, is Feng on death hook? Is she really? And again, back towards the uh, the gen, I'd say. In case, go see what's going on. Uh, that's not worth it, man. That gen is super close. We need to get that Skirtrick and then back towards the Meg. I think we get that in time. Uh, things death are good to know. Okay, cool. It's fine. We do get this one before they finish the gen either way. Meg back off again. Uh, if if Fang decides to get the other door, or the, uh, the other one again, I think we're in a good position here. The side, she's going long. Yeah, if I was them right now, I'd have Feng on that uh, gen in the middle, just trying to get that done as quickly as possible. I can right now is adrenaline, though. 
Not again. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Right? What we're going to do is go back towards these guys. Go between. Okay. White dies here. We didn't get the thing. Or the, uh, the Meg doesn't really matter either way. There she is. That's ideal. Don't tell me that was a quick and quiet bug, please. Okay, that could have gone badly wrong there, man. Okay, back towards the Meg. Is it worth risking, actually? Do I, or should I commit to... Hmm. The problem is, I don't know where Meg is. And the last thing I want to do is have her go and get that door. Okay, we found it. Never mind, we're fine. Oh, it's one not over yet. Yep. Yeah, so my concern there was that what if, like, Feng, um, you know, for example, manages to pick up the Meg, and then both of them run separate doors, right? That hard. Yeah. Mm, they, they, they are fast on these gens, man. Like, it's hard to pressure them. And, and you know, the craziest part is, is the majority of that comes down to, like, a lack of skirt trips, because the chases are pretty quick, you know? I think the, I mean, what, what I'm seeing today specifically, more than any other day so far in the streak, is people not working on gens together, right? Right then, the game, they might attempt it. But besides that, they're working on all of them on their own. So it's like the old kind of like, um, the old meta. Where would Meg be? There's Hatchy Dwayne. I uh, imagine facing those teams as an M1 cinema funny build. Oh yeah, if you're playing like a, you know, kind of chill, funny Sadako or something, man, say goodbye, dude. Uh, splitting gens more efficient. Yes. Yeah. See, the problem is, keep in mind that when two people work on gens, it doesn't double the it doesn't double the um the gen time, right? Or kind of half it, I guess, right? It doesn't become two times as fast for two survivors, and every subsequent survivor will make it slower. So, um, one survivor's quickest, and then two adds like a percentage, three adds a a, a lower percentage, and then four adds an even lower one after that. 180%? Yeah, and then I'm pretty sure three uh, takes it down even more. So the most efficient way to do it, assuming that you're coordinated, is to have four people on four separate gens. It means that you're going to be... It's going to be very hard to pressure everyone at the same time. I uh, didn't have a lot of Mambo. No, I, I don't think it was builds. I mean, they, they may have had some decent builds. I'm not too sure, but uh, it seems to me more like just really efficient timing on things. And they had some good RNG as well. Having like that um, fun boss into this gen into... Shaq was really practical for them at the end game. In 75%? It might be, yeah. Yeah, I'm not too sure. Well played though, man. Like that, that that was a strong team. Let's see, they did have circle of healing, which explains the other uh, hill speeds. Uh so we were right there. Uh it was one beamer, one toolbox. GG well played. Uh, amazing match. Uh, dead hard. We had some um, some distortion, which I don't know if we would have seen anyway. But uh, GG's, dude. Yeah, I think those three are the biggest ones from memory. Bro, don't you dare cold win this. Oh, oh, fuck you. Okay, chat. We do brutal, right? Try hard mode. I I have no remorse for this team. Almost guarantee. If these guys aren't stream sniping, they are the luckiest team in the world, man. God damn, dude. Oh, that's close. 90, perfect. She is out of the game. She is fucking tunneled, dude. If anyone comes in, right, Mox, if anyone comes in and complains about tunneling this game, get him out of here, man. <laughs> Interesting, okay. That's discordance. That hard, damn. I think we have a pain rest just over there. We do. Uh, oh, pain rest here as well, actually. Convenience. All right, let's go, man. Let's go. I flick. To no mercy. Oh, yeah. As soon as that Kate's off the hook, she's out of the game, man. That's a good pass out of the way, actually. It doesn't seem like a whole lot, but um, having them not run through the middle is pretty helpful. Out the game you get, man. Okay, out of my lobby, dude. Yep, that's off the record. 
Perfect. Hey, I'm pretty sure they had, what, three medkits, right? Yes? No, perfect. That's that skirt we go. I wish you the 101st win. Thank you, buddy. I mean, I probably would have felt bad uh, if it wasn't for the, the Cold Wind or uh, the uh, Cold Wind Ormond combo. That heart? Okay. Net, nice. I think we have another Skull Truck back here to my left, right? Uh, kind of. Kind of, we make that. Ah, uh, you are done, the finger said calmly. Yes. <laughs> yeah. That's the corner we go. Where's the Kates? And imagine they're healing up. Yeah, healing up is fine. Cheers. Anti. Uh, no sign of the other games to help her out. Uh, doesn't look like she's panicking too hard yet, though. Oh, no, she is. Perfect. That's someone out of the game. Five gens. Uh, what's the significance of Scourge Hooks? Extra BP or something better? No, so we have... Um, bro, out of here. <laughs> out of here, race. Um, our build kind of relies on Scourge Hooks. So uh, the one at the top in the uh, in the four that we've got is called Pain Res. And or Pain Resonance. And what that does is every time we hook someone on a Scourge Hook, we effectively get gen regression from it. Right, there's Dead Heart. That was... Oh, no, that wasn't Dead Heart. That was um, off the record. Perfect. Two gens down there. That's quick. And no discordance. He's just trying his best. He really is. He's still at DS. That guy is prepared, man. Although... That dude, okay, that's what I guess, when we were talking about it during the last game, it came to like a stacking shit like that. That's the stuff we're talking about, right? Problem is we have no collision back there. Hmm. Any second chances? Yeah, Ace was going to be prepared. Like in, in a situation like that, I can see why DS would be nerfed to three seconds. That's tricky. Mamma Jam is insane. Oh, yeah, he's going to be bringing everything. But keep in mind, I mean, the team was prepared to bring, what, like, Cold Wind and everything. So, doesn't surprise me a whole lot. Now, cool. My concern, though, again, we have no discordance. Probably leave him. No, I'm fine for now. We can use him to pressure later in the game. Find. Go for it. Perfect. Oh, he's got good Wi-Fi, though. I think getting that K out was good enough right now. Like, my, my, my biggest concern is that stacked medkit situation. So we're going to do, like, like right now, the, the idea is that we, we continue these chases. We make sure we down them. And that should give us the information we need, right? Once we find that second dude, we can then pressure the last one into losing the game. Like that, right? So we have that one person over there. We can then go back to Michaela. She is. The last survivor is forced to go for the pickup here. And hits. Went down. Everyone's injured. Perfect. The pain res. Get them off their gen again. We should be okay here. Stack an endurance meta, baby. I mean, thing is, those triple medkits have got to have something in them, right? There's no way it's just like a... <gasps> Wait! Yes! Okay, Ellie, you are so boosting. I love it, man. That's amazing. What to do is zone away from that pickup. Yep. Perfect. Uh, assuming that um, Adam doesn't have Delhi, which he, to be honest, he probably does. Purely based on his cosmetics. He do oh, he doesn't. Uh huh. Okay. That hard. Or off the record, I honestly can't tell anymore. Almost there. Good job. Bit of a juicer. In fairness, he's played very, very well. Damn. 
A single tea bag, yeah, just the one. It's a, it's a little cheeky treat, you know? Uh, tea bag with that build? I'm very close what they're running. I said successful. That is uh that is the win, man. Alright, he's not panicking at all. No, he played that amazingly clean. Okay, that'll be in the last one. Chat, that is it, dude. That is the uh, the 3k we need. And you know what? Because we're feeling like, actually fuck you, took cold wind. <laughs> Nothing today, man. Nah, nah, nah. I was gonna give you the hatch. Then I realized that uh your team took cold wind. Never mind. <laughs> That's my hatch, actually, man. That's the one chat, dude. Spam those B lights. Uh, that, that is that, that that is our new record, man. 100 wins. Triple digits, dude. Easy peasy. Oh, he was clean. The ace played so well, man. Let's go, dude. Spam the B lights. That is the shit we're talking about, man. Yes, dude. Let's go. They had, oh, they had some second chance, dude. Um, no, Star Strike Blight, Alcring. Yawn, yawn, yawn. Um, yes. Giga chance. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, so it was the Michaela and the um, Adam that brought the yellow map off from there. Very, very interesting. And yo, Grim Rabbit, thank you for the tier one sub, man. Hope you have a wonderful day. And uh, thank you for being here for the uh, for the 100. Hold on, chat. It's not official till we update the uh, the number. You guys ready? Three digits, dude. Uh, not, not 200. Hold on. That's a bit much. Uh, 100 wins in a row, man. Okay, chat. Here we go, man. We're going to take this one extra serious. This is game 150 in the win streak. Got to be a little bit careful here. Get in me, palm. Can be a little bit tricky. I reckon they spawned over here. Perfect. Minimum one survivor. Scratch marks look like two to me, I think. Uh, my American cousin married an Aussie woman. They live in Australia now and love it. That must be an interesting accent combo. Yeah. That was risky. I should have hit sideways rather than head on, but it worked out. And she conveniently dies on my hook. Thank you very much. Uh, literally the day before I, uh, I decided to check the streams. Gotcha. Yeah, that was a while ago. Damn. There's the scordance. We'll get down there. Oh, you know what? Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> What's going on, Ada? We have a Yui as well. Okay, I'm down. A uh, med kit. Yo, Soggy Froggy. Welcome in. Thanks for the 11 months, dude. Insanely kind. Yo, Lilith. Yo. How many more times should I tell you your content is amazing? You're too kind. Probably 100k more times, TBA. 100,000 more times? Okay, that, that might be a little bit too kind, but dude, thank you, Soggy, for the time words. Thanks for always being an absolute gamer. I I, I, I always appreciate you, man. And I uh, hope you're doing well, buddy. Thank you. Ooh, okay, okay. Got some gamers over here, man. I respect it. Spicy head on. Exactly, man. Good timing. So we know that uh, it's it's more than likely that the Ada and the Jeff are swift, right? No, sorry. You think we're going for the 11 months, man. It's a many more. Oh, no. Forwards. Forwards. You got this. Who's that? Spring burst? What the fuck? Oh, she's speeding. Uh, also, funnily, my first reaction upon hearing your voice was, damn, not a lady then. See, I, I, I kind of feel like, in fairness, I don't think that's that abnormal. Like, I think when, when, when people hear the name Lilith, I guess they kind of assume, right? I, I've heard that a few times, actually. Uh, where did my tag come from? My my blind tag came from my from the blob web. 180 Z Fleck. Oh, I don't know, though, man. Sounds like a bit of spice to me, dude. Oh, fuck. And down we go. Go check. Oh, fantastic. Uh, they have three kids who all, who are, all have an, uh, an Australian accent. Is it like slightly Americanized though? Surely if, if you're like brought up learning English around like an Australian and an American accent, surely you'd like hybridize both of them, right? Ah, 
Got it. That, that's the kind of distance you're looking for, man. Like, right up in there. Right up in their business. Uh, yo, Kate. What's going on, buddy? Would you like to throw that? Would you like to throw the pallets? You wouldn't throw it, man. You're not going to throw it. You wouldn't throw it. Go on, do it. Do it. <laughs> CJ Tech without a, without, with, without a beamer. I'm uh, sorry I should elaborate. Where did the Omen Part of You's name come from? Oh, dude, don't you worry, man. I was just memeing, dude. Uh, no, so the Omen Part actually didn't come from anywhere. It just kind of sounded cool at the time. I can't remember ever specifically being in inspired by any, like, Omen stuff. Um, the name Lilith came from Borderlands, but, like, I don't know where Omen came from. No idea. Get back here, Kate. Oh, the Shift W. Oh, okay, okay. I really want to get the hit down there, man. Never mind. Alright, uh, she's on death hook. I'm gonna go and pain res this one down to that discordance. Old? I mean, so we could slap the other gamer, dude. You know what? Someone's got to be in here. Unless they all just, like, conga lined out, maybe? I am new to DVD. Well, boss man, you've come to the right place. Welcome in. I hope you are prepared for uh, a, an unforgettable luncheon. Almost, almost. I reckon we can mangue in this one. Are the omen parts because you're such a big Nemo? I wait, N Nemo is in the fish. Up, oh, bro. I teleport through. You. Uh, hacks, I guess. I mean, I, I I did enjoy finding Nemo as a kid. That was a pretty good movie. Right. Okay then. Gotcha. Take Nemo backwards. Ah, I see. Nemo backwards is omen. I should make a Finding Omen t-shirt. That's what I should do. Almost, almost. Oh, was that Bokos? No. That one is Bokos. <laughs> because Lilith could never beat a uh, Margaret Fell Omen. I, I probably couldn't though. I, it's, it's probably a fair point. I've not played Elden Ring. I've heard it's pretty freaking tough. Finding Omen, right? Like that, that, that could be a pretty sick shirt design, dude. Uh, Finding Omen 2, the immersed survivors. Yeah, it's just a game of... It, it, the, the entire full-length movie is just walking around fucking dead dog, dude. Oh. Sorry, Kate. You do not survive this time. That hard? Okay, okay. Good timing. Yeah. Very good. Oh, that little move to the left, man. Good job. Oh. Hey, well, they got uh, no gens done there. That's uh, that's pretty good for the win streak. But chat, you guys ready? I mean, we have technically won the game already, but that is officially 100. And 50 wins in a row. That should not be legal, should it? I, I don't think any one person should be allowed to get that many wins in a row. Whoops. 150 man. Yes, let's go, dude. Celebration time. MMR working as intended. Yeah, dude. Fantastic. Nice. And the merciless killer. That is how you do it, man. We have completed DBD. All right, GG's, dude.